Hello. Okay, let's start. Um, hi, everybody, and thanks for joining us today. Uh, my name is Christian, and I'm an online marketing specialist at Positioning. And welcome to SEO Basics Made Easy. Uh, if you're a beginner, then this webinar is right for you. Uh, I'll try to cover everything you need to know about getting started with search engine optimization and how to start your first campaign from scratch. Uh, we are going to talk about topics like how does SEO actually work, how do keywords work and where to start keyword research, and how to measure your SEO efforts. Uh, I will also talk about the main features of our tool. Um, this way you'll be a, you'll better understand not only how SEO works, but you will also learn how to make the best use of the application itself. You'll see that it really isn't that difficult. Um, before we start, I'd like to tell that the webinar will take about 30 minutes. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer them at the end of this tutorial. And one more thing, if you'll miss anything, uh, don't worry. All of the materials and additional resources I mentioned uh, will be available for you to download after the webinar. Uh, you will also receive a copy of this video straight to your inbox. So I suppose we should start right now. Um, have you ever wondered how the way we look for information has changed over time? I mean, previously it was really time consuming. Uh, thanks to search engines, we are able to find the information we are looking for in a matter of seconds. Um, in the same way, it is possible for you to make your website findable on the internet, but how it actually works. In order to find the information we are looking for, we use keywords. Uh, for example, thanks to keywords, I can find a good coffee shop nearby or the price of the smartphone, which I'm considering to buy soon. Um, general keywords can broadly refer to products or services, but a bit more complex phrases also can indicate an intent. For example, uh, by adding a location variable to the coffee shop, uh, I'm telling the search engine that I'm looking for a coffee shop in Los Angeles, not any random shop in the country. Uh, the another example is iPhone 6. By adding a price variable, I'm stating that I'm looking for an actual offer. I'm not looking for reviews or comparisons, maybe. This might be a clear indicator that I'm a potential buyer. And that's the main reason why search engine marketing is so effective. So the idea behind SEO is quite simple. Connect searches with your website. Knowing which specific keywords people use to find your products or services will make your website easier to find by new customers. Um, another example, if you're in a coffee shop, the most appropriate keyword would be precisely coffee shop, right? What is important to mention at this point is that people who are using this phrase have a specific need, but they don't know your brand at all. If someone is looking for a company with a phrase containing your company's name, like uh, Hot Fresh Coffee or Christian's Coffee Shop, that means that he's already aware of it. The point of SEO is to make your website more easy to find by people who have a specific need but aren't familiar with your brand. And I suppose that's it. Uh, that's what SEO is all about. So how positioning can help you. Let's jump into the application. Um, positioning was designed to make your SEO really easy, especially for people who just started doing SEO and would like to receive really useful information about their campaign's performance. Uh, one of the main features you'll be referring to during your campaign will be keyword rankings. Uh, you can see it on the screen right now. Mm. When talking about rankings, uh, I have to say that they are a really simple metric that gives you an overview of how visible your website is for the particular set of keywords. Um, the math is really simple here. Um, the higher your website will be in the search engine results page, the more visibility it will get. And that means more clicks and more target traffic. Uh, positioning makes it incredibly easy to track and manage even thousands of keywords. Uh, but my personal recommendation would be organizing your keywords around a specific topic. For example, if you look at keyword table, uh, you'll see that we're tracking many types of keywords. I mean, long tail ones, uh, broader ones like best coffee. So let's get back to coffee shop example once again. So uh, many people when looking for a coffee shop will use this particular keyword, I mean, copy shop. And I suppose that search engines will take care of the rest to show you the most relevant results. But there are 
other keywords as well, like synonyms, for example, uh, coffee house or coffee bar or local phrases like uh, coffee shop LA or coffee shop, best coffee shop, Santa Monica. Uh, coffee shops also might sell other merchandise like coffee mugs or even offer breakfasts. These are the additional sets of keywords you really ought to divide from the rest of the phrases you would like to rank for. Uh, for example, how to organize your keywords. Uh, by putting uh, keywords into uh, highly re relevant to each other groups, uh, you'll be able to keep things organized and manage even, manage even large amounts of keywords. This is especially recommended for online stores or SEO agencies. By organizing your keywords in this way, you will also have an opportunity to check the average rankings of the whole group. Uh, and from all of the group, even a particular keywords. Uh, if you measure website rankings in Google, nothing stands in the way of tracking your competitors as well. Uh, in position, you are able to compare your rankings with your competitors for a particular keyword. So we have some of the competitors prepared. And as you can see on the chart, you will be shown uh, your rankings and your competitors' rankings on one simple chart uh, for one phrase. You could do the same for the whole group. Or your whole account. Yeah, so we can see that our website Notice some major drop in rankings. I wonder why. So uh, such an analysis will give you a simple overview on how well you are performing in comparison to other websites that are trying to rank in Google. And I suppose, yeah, that's it for competitors. OK, let's switch to the research tab. Uh, properly optimized websites is the foundation of SEO. It will not only be more user-friendly, thanks to things like clear structure or readability, but it also will be more accessible for search engines. Uh, the third feature I would like to talk about in this presentation is our on-page optimization check. Uh, if you're not 100% sure if your website is properly optimized, um, you can use it to find any potential issues. For example, let's check out the cafelux.com. Uh, as you can see, it's optimized really well, uh, but the pictures available on the website are missing some alt tags, and that's a clear issue. A moderate issue, but still. Uh, alt tags are used to describe what's the content of the picture. I mean, search engines are clever, but they can scan what's in a particular image. If the website owner would fix the issues with the alt tags, his website would be fully prepared to meet search engine clovers. I mean, this tool will be very handy when you're starting uh, with on-page optimization and when you know your keywords. OK, let's get back. The another feature I would like to talk about are backlinks. Because uh, backlinks are one of the most important elements of search engine optimization. They are links that are placed on other web pages on the internet and which refer to yours. Um, have you ever wondered why you see particular results in search engines for your query? I mean, the results you see there aren't accidental. Thanks to backlinks, search engines can determine the popularity of your website. Uh, you can think about backlinks as casting votes. The more votes your website receives, the more popular it is in the eyes of Google. For example, another example uh, with the coffee shop uh, for all the coffee lovers. You're on a coffee shop and someone has visited your place. Uh, that guy likes to blog and he liked the visit so much that he decided to write a review with a link to your spot. This link is a signal for the search engine that your website is starting to get more popular. And if you properly optimize it with keywords, the rankings will move up. Uh, with position, you can check and track your link building progress and see how it impacts your rankings growth. My recommendation, personal recommendation, would be focusing only on quality backlinks. 
the reason why is that few of them will do the work of dozens of medium ones. Uh, additionally, when your backlink profile, profile will be built on quality backlinks, uh, your rankings will be really hard to beat by your competitors. And I suppose that's it as for the major features. Uh, I don't know if I should talk about additional ones because you have also add-ons uh, which you can use to find, for example, new keyword variations. Yeah, uh, the feature is called Keyword Mixer. So you can try to find new keyword variations uh, in here. In websites, uh, you can manage uh, the, the domains you would like to track. Uh, and yeah, I suppose that in this introduction, I touch only the few features we have to offer. I can really say that there are many more uh, you will discover along using the application. For example, reports, uh, add-ons, uh, mobile app for your favorite platform, or if you're running a digital agency, a uh, white labeling option might be interesting for you. So for example, uh, white labels here. So besides the look of the application, its color, uh, you will be able to brand it with, with your logo. And the same for uh, reports, and yeah, the account access. So no position you brand here, only your companies. Uh, okay, so let's get back to the websites. And yeah, there are many features and I really encourage you to try them all. In the top right corner, you'll notice a bulb symbol. By clicking on it, you'll run a handy guide with information how to use a particular feature. You'll also notice a contact form and really feel free to drop us a message anytime you like. I mean, our support is really there to help you. Uh, I'm fully aware that we only touched a few of the SEO basics and few of the features. I hope that uh, we'll talk about it more uh, when you ask some questions. Uh, but if you'd like to learn more about the topics we simply touched today, like keyword research, on-page optimization, or how to analyze backlinks, I suppose that you should check out our step-by-step -step visual guide to positioning. It pretty much covers everything I talk about in this tutorial. And I suppose that's it. That was a really short introduction. And I'm waiting for your questions, if you have any.